Hello! In this tutorial on C++, which is actually a continuation of the last tutorial, I want to introduce you to the virtual keyword. As I said, ok, uh, let's just write the virtual keyword before this function, so virtual, and let's see what's happened, and then I try to explain why does it happen, what is happening. Alright, so, as you can see, we call the same function, as you can see, we call this the print, this uh, we call the print here, we call the print here, and we have the same type, actually, as you can see, it's a person, so, how is it possible that uh, uh, different, so the, this is different? As you can see, first write a person, as we expected, because it's a person, but then it's right to the employee, and then the employer. So what's the what's happening right here? The happening is uh, we use the virtual function. Virtual function is mean that we want to call the that function uh, that function wha what is needed. So uh, it is a virtual function. Uh, we it will write this virtual function here, here, and here. Although in although the derivative class it is not uh, necessary because uh, it is inherit so it inherited the, it, it inherit the virtuality uh, yeah uh, so it mean that uh, it will store that uh, when and which function when is needed so for example in the case of person uh, if we uh, just uh, call the print function like here in case person, then it will know that we want to uh, get the print from the person. Okay. In the second case, we uh, as an employee as a uh, parameter so pointer uh, like here, and when we call the print, it will know that uh, it will know that what uh, what print is needed. So in this case, it's fine that this is here. So that print is needed. Okay, and the first case it is, uh, yeah, called third uh, print. Okay, uh, mm, a constructor uh, actually a constructor cannot be virtual, and uh, a destructor can be virtual. So yeah, it will know what the destructor needed. Pretty much that it in nutshell. But uh, later when we will go on, I try to explain a little bit well because. Uh, that was just a very simple example and a very very simple explanation. By the way, uh, you should omit, actually, hmm, avoid virtual function. You should avoid virtual function if it is not necessary because it uh, uh, makes your program a little bit lower. It gives some runtime. Uh, it gives something to the runtime because it have to be. Uh, it have to. Hmm, yeah, it has to decide which function should it call, so that's why it uh, store a memory uh, table, virtual table, I don't know, I think that's it. Uh, you really shouldn't care about that, but the, you, what you really should care is that it makes your program a little bit slower and use a little bit more memory. But, uh, so if it is possible to avoid virtuals, then uh, avoid virtuals, okay? But uh, yeah, that's it in nutshell from the virtual functions. Uh, yeah, mm. we will make after virtual, uh, so pure virtual functions. Actually, make it now because this tutorial was uh, so short. All right, to create a virtual void function, we did this person. We not not need that, okay? And uh, we delete this as well, and here person. Okay, so sometimes you need a, cl a base class, which, which is uh, uh, not, f which uh, sometimes you may have a class that you don't want to be uh, actually. Uh, instance and uh, use their functions because they are simply not a normal class, they have a special meaning. So, f 
for example, you have a class uh, in a 3D game like a weapon, a uh, weapon class. Okay, and from the weapon there are numerous uh, other classes which inheritance, for example there is a class that P90, there is a class that M4, and so on. The base class, so the weapon class, is just contains uh, variables and functions uh, like uh, the fire rate, the and and so on. But you can't uh, uh, shoot, so can't use a weapon which is none of the weapon. It's actually just a class that represents all of the weapon. You cannot shoot with that. You can just shoot with uh, a weapon. So something that inherited from that class. Uh, th uh, these where the pure virtual function is needed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, to make uh, this, this to a pure virtual function, this print, you should use the equal zero. And this means it is the pure virtual function. This Y you shouldn't define this uh, uh, function. So, yeah, this just that you make it equal to zero, and with that, it is a pure virtual function. A class that has a pure virtual function, at least one, in this case we have one, is called an abstract class. So, abstract class. Alright. This abstract, abstract class is cannot be instanced. So if I try to instance uh, this person, that will give an error because it simply cannot be instanced. Uh, try this out. Okay, try to instance it, and as you can see, oh, it is an abstract type. As you can see, cannot declare variable p1 to the to be an abstract type. As you can see, it's uh, right out. This is a pure virtual function. Okay, so it can be instanced. Similarly, a weapon uh, uh, shouldn't be instanced uh, in a 3D game because you cannot shoot uh, with just a weapon, which is uh, not uh, not any type of weapon. This is just uh, untyped the weapon. You cannot fire with that. You cannot use with that. So uh, this the class is pretty much uh, made for be an a class that will be inherited. So uh, this class is made to be a, a base class, nothing else. It shouldn't be inherited. Uh, it should be just inherited, but it... Uh, yeah. Okay, so it shouldn't be instanced and just the base class. So everything will be inherited from that, as you can see, we um, inherit from that and here too. And without this person declaration, the program will compile, as you can see. And now, if we run the program, we can see that um, because it is virtual, uh, the employee and an employer call a function which is needed. All right. Uh, there is one thing about the pure virtual function that I should tell is that uh, the inherited class has to override the function which is a pure virtual, in this case a print. As you can see, if I uh, comment out the print function and I try to uh, run program, uh, it uh, can make an error because it's a, few, a pure virtual function and it has to be uh, override. Alright, uh, so yeah, comment this uh, back. Alright, uh, that's it for virtuality and pure virtual. Although I think that this doesn't make sense why we would use that because uh, yeah, I know a lot of people have uh, hard to understand why uh, would we want to use that and uh, so on. But later when we build actual bigger programs, uh, we may use, actually we will use this uh, virtual function a lot. This is one of the base of the polymorphism. Okay, polymorphism pretty much means that uh, you uh, you uh, call the same thing. So in this case we call the 
pp uh, print so the person pointer print from the person pointer and not and uh, mm, according what they uh, what what is it point to it will call the uh, it will con uh, call the correct function as you can see it here it called uh, it will call the employee and then it call the employer okay this is just as simple as it is for now but later we will uh, uh, go into a little bit deeper in it okay i don't want to go too much into the inheritance and so this uh, object oriented object oriented programming the which is a little more complicated and mostly that i cannot make a good example of demonstrating that without make a too complicated program later we will write a complicated program that will make sense why we will use that all right thank you for watching and have a great day